Welcome to the Funny Carpenter. Today we're going to have a look at the effect water has on vinyl plank, laminate and engineered hardwood. Now I could sit here for the next two days and spray these boards or we just toss them in the tub for two days and we see what happens. Yeah, hardwood's looking a little swole. All right, so these boards have been submerged underwater for two days. They've had about a half a day to dry off. So let's have a look and we can figure out where the best place to install these floors would be in terms of basements, kitchens, bathrooms, laundry rooms, etc. So let's start off looking at the hardwood. Now the hardwood is not in too bad of shape. Just looking at it kind of face on, it doesn't look too bad. But if you kind of look at the edge angle here, you can see that it's quite deformed. And the thing about, even if it's like a hardwood or the engineered hardwood, after it's sucked up all that water, the wood never quite goes back to the way it was. The fibers kind of get blown apart a little bit and they never quite go back all the way. I've replaced a few engineered hardwood floors that have had water damage and it's always a tough call because once the uh, wood dries out, it doesn't look too bad, but all of a sudden it just starts getting lumpy. One of the floors that I did, I ended up just replacing like six or seven boards boards and then leaving some of the peripheral stuff that wasn't quite as bad. I wouldn't recommend an engineered floor for a laundry room or if you have like an area where your hot water tank is or definitely probably not a bathroom. It might be okay in a bathroom but if you have a tub that you keep on getting splashing out of the tub probably not great in that kind of a circumstance. If you had a powder room like on your main floor it's fine for that. As long as it's not getting like tons of water abuse the engineered hardwood stands up pretty well it, it would be fine in the kitchen too like if you get a spill on here and you wipe it up it's no big deal next we'll have a look at the laminate now this is just a product from the home depot the life proof it's about two dollars and fifty cents canadian a square foot it didn't do that great in the water yeah you can see it's just curling i mean the core of this laminate flooring is just kind of like a an MDF almost type of stuff and that just soaks up the water. But yeah, you can see like the top tongue here is just curled right up so there's a hard ridge there. Yeah, if you went away for the weekend and your uh, basement flooded and you had this in there, you're replacing the whole floor. There's no way this would be salvageable. I have replaced water damaged laminate flooring before. It does not do well in floods. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend this for laundry rooms, bathrooms, definitely not. Kitchens is a maybe. Basements, if there's any chance of kind of some water damage, maybe you live below a bit of a floodplain. I definitely wouldn't put this into a floodplain situation. Yeah, I mean, it has its place. It's an affordable floor. Some of the laminates look pretty nice, but it doesn't do great with water. And lastly, we have the vinyl plank. Now the vinyl plank, nothing happened to it. <laughs> it's just all kind of a vinyl. The whole core is made out of some type of vinyl material. It didn't absorb any of the water. The seam is still perfectly flat. The tongue is perfectly intact. Like I say, it's vinyl. I have it glued onto some quarter inch material here just when I had this big sample board all together. But yeah, even the little rubber underlayment on the bottom is still perfectly fine. The floor is rated to be waterproof, so it's not surprising. This is another product from the Home Depot. It is the Home Decorators Collection. I'll put all the flooring information in the description if you're interested in any of them. Say you did go away for the weekend and your home did flood and you had this floor, there's a chance you might have to take all the floor up to dry it off underneath, but then you could put it back down so you wouldn't have to buy new flooring. Or if it was a small room, you might be able to take out like a couple rows and maybe get some forced air underneath to dry it out. I would definitely try that before I removed everything. So this would be a perfect floor for pretty much anywhere in your home. Kitchens, bathrooms, laundry rooms, utility rooms. It doesn't really matter. Uh, water is not going to damage this floor. And hey, if you're interested in checking out the durability on these three floors, check out this video up here. And if you're one of those subscribing type people, you can do that down here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.